Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. Today we're going to start with the last sector, the puzzle sector, and with this we're only nine tasks away from completing the whole Code Hunt public sector. So let's see what this has waiting for us. Oh, sorry, I'm on C Sharp here and I actually want to switch back to Java which does not work directly, but I have to go out of the level and into the level again. Okay, now we're on Java and we have some puzzles to solve. It's playtime with baby Gauss. Okay, so we have some <laughs> Gaussian distribution here, maybe. We get in an integer, we're supposed to return an integer. For zero, we return zero. For two, we return three. It's two, return three. Let's see, give me some more test cases. For 38, it's actually uh, 741. Um, interesting. This is not so much of a help. Let's see, maybe I can force him to generate some test cases that help me a little more like for one and for three and maybe for four but I'm not quite sure let's see for three it's supposed to be six okay for one it's actually one nice so now we need four five six or something Let's say four, five, six. Give me something smaller than, smaller than thirty-eight, where I may be able to see the pattern in my head. Okay, for four, it is ten. For five, it is fifteen. For six, it is twenty-one. So it is increasing, and it's actually just adding the value to the previous one, isn't it? For 1 it's 1 plus 0, for 2 it's 1 plus 2, for 3 it's 3 plus 3, for 4 it's 6 plus 4, 10 plus 5, 15 plus... So we can easily compute that recursively by saying um, if x is 0, return 0, if not, return x plus puzzle x minus 1. Would be an easy solution for that task. I hope I got the loop anchor right and it even gives me the full skill rating. Pretty nice. Let's continue on with the next task. Next one is magic square. Okay, so maybe there's some squaring involved here. Um, we have zero that's supposed to return zero, and we have 32 that includes some pretty big 16,400 value. So maybe I start with the same trick again and generate some cases that might give me um, a little more valuable output. I'm just using the squares here because it says squares in the task description. Don't know if that's meaningful in any ways. But I hope that now he's going to generate test cases for 1, 2, 3 and 4, which he does. Quite nice. But I got it wrong. So for 2 it is 5. Uh, the other five. Um, for three it is fifteen. For four it is actually thirty-four, so it's uh, increasing much faster than um, or much faster, that's not true, but it's more than just squaring the numbers. Um, okay, let's see. 
What's the pattern here? I'm going to generate some more just to have a little more output. So for 1 it's 1, for 0 it's 0, for 2 it's 5. So it's actually... It is 2 square plus 1. But in this case it's not 5 square, square plus 3. Uh, it should be 3 square plus 5. No, that would be 14, not 15. F let's see, for 4 it's uh, that we had that. For 5 it's 65. For 6 it's 111. For 7 it's 175. Okay, so I guess I don't have to use any bigger numbers here because it's not worth it. So, what's the pattern? Okay, I have an idea. It says magic square. There is the magic square, this this puzzle task where you have to... Um, where you have stones from the numbers of 1 to some n and you can arrange them in a square so that every row, every column and I think the diagonals have the same sum and there is a formula to compute that sum which um, I can look up and after I did this I can actually use it Sorry for not having that in mind, but it's x times x x plus 1 divided by 2. So let's see if that works out. Uh, sadly enough, you did not create too many test cases, but apparently this was the right solution. And this actually solves the second task of the puzzle sector. Nice. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.